We all know a lot has changed since the start of the pandemic, especially as we look ahead to this toward the summer months, usually filled with a lot of trips and sleep away overnight camps. But tonight, Alex Livingston shows us how one camp in particular has gotten pretty creative and how it plans to reach its campers. I want to introduce you all to Luke. He's got his two thumbs and wants to go to camp. I'm special. This guy. Yeah. Nice. He has Down syndrome and has been going to camp. I'm special for the last six years. Luke loves camp. I'm special so much. It's it should be legal. Yeah. <laughs> From arts and crafts to talent shows to swimming. Yeah. Yeah. You like to swim? Yeah, swimming's his favorite thing. Campers, young and old. We've had campers in their 60s. We've had people who've come for 20 summers in a row. Get to hang out with others who have special needs too. It, it's like seeing him grow wings. Luke, like all the other campers, have June 8th marked on their calendars every year. I know there's some families who have a countdown to camp where they just can't wait to get to camp every summer. But because of COVID-19, things will look a little different this time around. As early as March, we started making different scenarios. Scenarios like pushing the start date back a month. It was very heartbreaking to think that we wouldn't have camp, that how, how is it possible? We've done this for 37 years and we just, we've got to make it work. Ultimately, the decision was to go virtual. They really do grow up so much. Um, so that part of it will, um, will definitely be missing this year. Now, while there's some sadness, there's one thing that won't be missing, the special bonds that are created every summer. And we all really could use some love and camp I'm special in our lives. <laughs> Alex Livingston, First Coast News, on your side. And this summer, Camp I Am Special is free for everyone to attend. We have all the details for you on our website. Just look for this story at firstcoastnews.com.